years ago, well, almost four now, uh, Linda McFarling and I were standing just about in the same spot and we looked over, uh, we were talking about the soup kitchen here in town that's held, the Good Eat Soup Kitchen that's held every Monday night at the Higgins, um, Higgins Memorial United Methodist Church and we, we just said, you know, we could have a garden out here. And we began to talk to other people in the area. One of the first and most important was Rita Early, the dean of the Yancey campus of Malin Community College, who became excited and said, we're going to offer some new garden classes with local legend Pat Battle. Uh, maybe we can have the class at Dig in, uh, at, on site to help get the garden started. Pat came out here, taught some classes, built some lasagna beds, got people engaged, and helped us start the garden get underway. All of the food, all of the, the food that we raise is donated to local food providers. In two summers we've raised, uh, well two, two years, we've raised about 53, 5400 pounds. 2011, and the Yancey Foundation uh, accepted a grant application. After vetting that, decided to put some of our money with it and then we went to the Community Foundation and got some more money uh, for this irrigation system. Yeah. Uh, what will the irrigation system do for the garden? Well, during the last two years, we've been dragging hose uh, several hundred feet around the garden and finding it um, cumbersome and finding it challenging as we're knocking some plants over here and there with the hose. And this irrigation system is going to allow us to draw water from the, uh, a branch that's drop a, a small branch that's running right into Bowling Creek here. And I put up about 100 acres. They have a couple different kits, and so we asked them to, you know, told them what we want to do and, and about the scale that, that this was on, and um, so they, they recommended this kit for us. You know, one of the main reasons that we like to work with kids out of the high school is that we need this next generation of farmers to come on and be excited about farming and, and learn some of the basic skills um, that they need. Yeah. Like today where they can come and they can see a system installed, um, they can learn about the different components and how to do it and actually maybe get their hands on it a little bit. Uh, we feel like you know, there's not a better learning opportunity for them than, than a situation like that. I'm Kayla Breton. I'm from Mountain Heritage High School. I'm in all kinds of agriculture classes. Um, I have an interest in ag teaching and veterinarian. The FFA is a, an organization that tries to lead students to do agricultural things and give you leadership skills. This really has become a community project. We're getting uh, volunteer groups from 4-H, from, um, from high, other high school students. We're getting church groups out here. Uh, we've got printing shops that, that help us. We've got lo local lumber. Uh, whenever we can and need to buy something, we go locally, try to help the local economy. So this really has become a, a Yancey project.